Hey everyone, Peyton Rain here with another, we'll call this a model showcase, plus kind of an update on what's been going on. Um, so I am on the move, on the travel uh, for work, as I said, like, you know, sometimes we have these, well, this past year and everything has been kind of different, but um, generally travel quite a bit for work, and so I'm on this big work trip now, so I've kind of gotten a mobile paint thing kind of going, I was able to bring some models and some paint along, um, so I can try to knock out some stuff. Um, since I'm away from family, which sucks, but I need to try to use that opportunity though to try to capitalize and get some painting done. Like um, I've got my aggressors here um, that uh, I've had these since they first came out when Eighth Edition came out, and the, um, I got I, I painted up and got the the shooty ones, the frag launchers, and the bolt storms done, but I never got the flamer ones done. Um, so they've been sent forever. So they're first up on my to-do list. Um, and then so much more to do. But um, what this is mainly about is what I had posted on the Facebook and Instagram are these two models right here, which has sparked a new project that I'm going to do. Um, so this is the first model that I ever painted, this Dark Angels veteran. Let's see if it will focus in. Um, the lighting in here is, I've been trying to figure it out, it's its hard, so it comes up pretty dark, but it um, it did use, I think it was just called Dark Angels Green at the time, um, and yeah, a lot of things I didn't know what was going on. I, I This is like my first jump into the tabletop, I didn't really know what goes into like building them, what went with what. Um, the whole reason why I ended up going with Dark Angels is why I really liked the Salamanders. Um, so, back up even further. So, this all kind of came from my only had uh, my only introduction to Warhammer at the time was the uh, Dawn of War series, and um, played that. And I was playing it, and a roommate at the time was like, "Hey, you should really check out the tabletop. You you probably really like it because you're pretty artistic and like that kind of stuff." So I was like, "Okay, I'll check it out." We went to a hobby store, and it was just like. I was intimidated. I was like, there's no way I can paint all this stuff or whatever. So I didn't do it. That was about 2000, 2009, 2008, 2009. Um, so I just shelved it for the time. Um, then fast forward to 2011. Um, I was living in an apartment by myself, had a lot of downtime. I'm, I'm a huge introvert, really, when it comes down to stuff. I don't really go out and do things, and I do like hanging out with close friends and stuff, but for the most part, I, I don't really like to put myself out there, or, like just walk up to people. I'm, I'm not the type of person that could say I've never, um, there's certain people that are so good with people that they're always like, oh yeah, they never meet a stranger, because everyone they talk to is like immediately like their friend. Well, I'm not that person. I, everyone I meet is a stranger, even sometimes some friends. Um, it, anyway, um, but I decided to kind of just jump in let's see what this is about so um i picked dark angels instead of the salamanders because while i like green's my favorite color and i like the salamanders like dragon logo um i didn't like the the color of green it seemed too bright and everything and i thought that didn't seem very tactically sound you know knock on wood kind of thing like yellow you know imperial fist or whatever um and again not realizing at the time like color and um, stealth isn't necessarily a thing when it comes to these huge space marines bursting through a wall. <laughs> um, so anyway, I went with Dark Angels because it was a darker green. Um, and then also because of their symbol with the sword and the wings was the same symbol I was using for Halo 2 at the time. The, it's called the Valkyrie symbol. Um, and so I was like, hey, that's cool. It's got my symbol that I use on Halo and, and whatever else. Plus then I when I went to the... Uh, the hobby store and saw that they have robes and armor and it's just like all together looked really cool um, so I decided to go with that so as you can see um, plenty of mistakes here in the building um, like for one like I just picked this shoulder pad on this side if it'll focus again it's kind of hard because this one's so dark it actually focuses better on this other model here in a minute um, but uh, yeah so I I just put that on not realizing it was a terminator I didn't even know what terminator armor was but that's a Terminator shoulder pad um, of a Raven Wing veteran, but did not know that at the time. Um, and then, you know, I just kind of threw this other shoulder pad on over here. Um, didn't drill the barrel. It's not really focusing again, is it? Give it a second. Maybe if I stop turning it around. Uh, 
anyway. But yeah, um, and then I kind of did like a real rough dry brush edge highlighting of, I think it was snot green at the time over it. Um, I did kind of a, did a wash, but it was like a homemade wash and just like water and uh, chaos black at the time. Um, and put that over it, and then I just dry brushed the bolt gun metal over the, um, the bolt gun. And that was pretty much it. And then as for the cloak, I, I mean, I painted it like, I don't remember what this color was, like a khaki color. And then the skulls I painted white, which um, if I wanted a more realistic skulls, the skulls are not like like paper white like that is, like snow white, they're not that color. But um, And then again, for the robes, um, I did like a khaki color and then I did like multiple different kinds of washes where I was just kind of like adding black to browns and like really thinning it down and trying to get like a dirty kind of look and for the time I was like oh, that looks pretty good I, I mean I was pretty proud of it um, yeah so um, and that was in 2011 then I didn't actually start playing until about it was either the end of 2012 um, definitely into 2013 though I um, I think Dark Vengeance the sixth edition had just kind of been out for a little bit um, so I got the Dark Vengeance box, which kind of worked out because I already had Dark Angels. Um, so I was able to build, and I started building my Dark Angels army. Um, now, that whole army has since been sold, it's gone, um, but I did keep this one model. So this is the only model left of that army, but I thought it was a, a kind of a nice keepsake memento because um, it's the first model I ever painted and everything, and I knew at some point maybe I would want to do a comparison. Now, uh, Duncan Rhodes... I can't remember if it was right before he left Warhammer TV or right after. Um, he did a similar thing. Well, not a similar. He did the exact thing where he repainted um, basically his first ever. He got his first ever model he ever painted and then painted up a Primaris in the same scheme. So I wanted to do the same, but I wanted to also kind of recreate um, this model as well. Um, and also then like kind of update it so make him a primary so that's where this guy steps in um, so I did change it up a little bit from this one um, as far as you know like his lowdown stuff like he's got this knife on his back so I took off the little dark angels dagger that he comes with and gave him a bigger knife um, to kind of symbolize that um, obviously he is now a primaris um, let me see focused on him better earlier when I was testing it out. Got to find the manual focusing here. There we go. So yeah, so um, yeah, maybe you can see this guy better now. Yeah, so let's put him back up real quick. Um, yeah, so you can see nothing's too special. You can't, like, again, the lighting kind of sucks, but you can't really even see where the highlights are. Um, yeah, and then the other thing I did too is I had just, I don't know, I put the brown on the shoulder trim. Um, I don't know why, really. I just wanted to. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wanted to get kind of a more accurate Dark Angels. But anyway, so um, this is the updated version of him. So I gave him a uh, the bolt rifle. So I kept him the same, like kind of like, the idea is he's, an, he's still like a veteran kind of, but like kind of the same loadout. He's just like got a bolt gun. Um, but so this guy crossed the Primaris Rubicon. Um, he's got himself a bolt rifle with a frag launcher on it. Um, you know, he's got some spent shell casings popping out there. Um, still got his robes and his hood, very Dark Angel esque. The the hood on this, I actually had to cut the helmet off of the um, front of the Primaris helmet, and then uh, took the lieutenant. Cause so the main body of this figure, I should say. Um, is the Dark Angels Primaris Lieutenant. So the, the backpack the, and the main body and most of the head, I'll say, well, kind of the, the, the hood of the head is all from the, oh, and the shoulder pad as well, um, the Dark Angels one here. They are all um, from the Dark Angels Lieutenant kit. Um, so I cut the Primaris helmet head, like the face plate off, and I had to shape it right, and I drilled out um, the lieutenant's bare head that was inside the robed head and had to very carefully place the helmeted face plate in there and what resulted I think was pretty awesome and I think 
the Dark Angels upgrade sprue is really missing out. Um, it comes with a Dark Angels helmet that has like, I think, like the sword on it, the sword of Caliban or something. Um, but it really should come with some hooded heads, at least one, at the very least, I think. Because um, it's Dark Angels, you know. Um, and even maybe some bits to be able to add some robes to your intercessors and make them more, you know, like this. Um, but anyway, so then uh, I, th I was trying to think if I wanted to cut the events off of the pack and try to replace them with the skulls. But the skulls are uh, significantly smaller than the vents, and so I was like, well, you know what, I'll just place them up as decoration um, and kind of homage to the original here, uh, which the skulls are actually integrated into the vent pieces on the original. Um, but, you know, I wanted to just go with that, just an homage. Same thing on the side here. Um, I didn't want to necessarily get another veteran's kit and just take out some of the shoulder pads and bits and do that. I, I wanted to recreate it as best as possible without just like straight up just using the same bits. Um, so when I can, I try to avoid that. Um, so for that, uh, I did use an older bit though. This is like a laurel piece um, uh, that I had found in my bits thing and so I kind of shaved it down and glued it onto the side of the pad. I couldn't find anything that resembled that small sword to try to recreate. Um, so it is missing that unfortunately but I still think it, you know, it turned out well. It looks cool. Um, and um, yeah, oh yeah, so I mean the only thing I had were like little tiny um, like knives and daggers that were not the right shape um, as the sword that's on here. So. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much it. Um, as you can see, there's like, again, there's kind of some sunlight coming in over there. I try, tried to close everything as much as possible, but um, yeah, so it's kind of still hard to see, though. Not that there's any detail really here to see in the original, but um, anyway. I thought it was a fun project. I really enjoyed it. It's really cool to see, basically. Um, so, 10 years since I painted this first model, um, and then after I bought the Dark Event, or the Dark Angels Veterans Kit, I actually went out and I bought a Space Marine Champion, a Drop Pod, and Scout Sniper Squad, and built and painted all them, and then they all just sat on the shelf until about 2013 when I started playing, and I got Dark Vengeance and started building and playing, and so really... 10 years since uh, I painted um, the last, you know, since I painted this one, but then really this is kind of eight years of practice because um, there's about two years in between where I didn't paint or play or anything. Um, so then about two years of practice. Um, so basically when I started up again and after two years I was still at this level. Um, but yeah, so I think it's really cool. I, I would love to see other people do similar things. There's um, already one person in the comments on the Facebook page that posted their first miniature and they've repainted it three times now. They just did the, their third one and um, you can definitely see the progression each time and I think it's really cool. They've just been using the same miniature, just uh, paint, strip, paint, strip, uh, which is pretty cool too. Uh, but uh, the project idea that has kind of come with this now, <laughs> um, and I'll post a picture up here at the end of the video. It's kind of a potato camera shot. Um, kind of like this video probably is, but um, I've decided as fun, and it won't happen until after the work trip, um, so it will be a while, just because, um, like I said, I don't I don't have the time to order bids and try to track them down and get the right paint and everything um, while I'm traveling around, um, but definitely once the work trip's done and I'm back home at home base, I'm going to jump into this cool project idea where I'm going to recreate the first ever squad that I painted, which was the Dark Angels Vengeance Squad. Or I keep saying Vengeance Squad. Dark Angels Veteran Squad. But that might be actually kind of cool, though, because um, my little slip-up, because you have Dark Vengeance and Veterans and all that, whatever. But um, I may call them the Veteran Squad, or Vengeance Squad, <laughs> um, for Kill Team. I was thinking about, you know, this would be kind of a cool thing to maybe build um, and upgrade them into Primaris. Um, on over. So I have a pretty cool idea on how I'm going to do that uh, for the rest of the models that were in that squad and how to kind of bring them over the Rubicon Primaris and then 
uh, basically kill team squad, which I think is playable. I'm not sure what the points cost will come out to. Um, but then I'll have basically an anniversary squad for kill team that we'll call kill team vengeance. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be pretty awesome. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you've done anything like this where you went back and revisited your first ever model, I would definitely love to see them in the comments or, you know, post up links or whatever to wherever you're posting your stuff at. I would love to see the, that work. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, and if you haven't already, please check out the rest of the channel. I greatly appreciate the like and the subscribe. You check out my Facebook page and Instagram. All are going to be in the links in the description below. And again, thank you for watching, and until next time.